Thank you for watching part two of our 270 SDX C-Ray test drive series. We're about to get rear-ended by a pontoon boat. Please turn that way, guys. So the first thing you do before you put your C-Ray 270 SDX in the water, if you're a trailer boater, is put your plug in it. It goes underneath the outdrive. Once you get your plug in it, then you can go ahead and put it on the water. Part two, second, no, not part two. Step number two, underneath the aft bench seat, we have dual batteries with a switch. Go ahead and put it right on there. That'll save me editing. So when we go boat, we turn it to both. That alternator is actually going to keep both of those batteries charged while we're out here boating. If we're going to stop and cove out, drop the power anchor that this boat has, then we'll switch it to one or two. The radio and everything will be isolated to a single standalone battery. One engine needs one battery to start. We've got a fully charged battery right over there, ready to go. When we're done for the day, shut her off. All right, Braden, let's go. So that we don't make this video incredibly longer than it's already going to be because it's an awesome boat. Down in the description below the video, right over here, hit a drop down arrow. We're going to include a bunch of different links. Links that explain how to operate, tilt and trim, what to do when your boat won't start. One thing I should say real quick too, look at how beautiful all the seats in this boat are. Be sure to check out the buttseatspray.com. That's Used Boats TV. That's our first product that we've got and it is awesome. Keeps your boats really pristinely clean. Now, starting this boat. Three things the boat won't start. Click, 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 dead battery. Turn the key over, nothing happen, happens whatsoever. It's most likely in gear. Turn the key over and it just turns and won't fire. It is your kill switch. But we're in neutral. Batteries are on, they're up. And we're just gonna turn the key and she fires right up. So that's one way you can start it. Another way you can do it is you can turn your key to the on position. Then you have touch button start and stop right here on your shifter. So the purpose of this video, once again, is to go over the operational instructions and our systems here. So right here we have a horn. Right here is our stereo. So we can turn it up, pick a channel we like. Let's find a channel. Talk radio, that's how you know you're partying. Stereo sounds extremely good. Definitely not boat music, but whatever. Right here, our navigation lights. That's when we're driving at nighttime. That's the red and green up front, the white light built in up top. Down is off. Anchor light, that's when you're stopped at night. Just the white light built in on top. Cockpit lights are in the interior. Oh, that's awesome. Look at the blue lights, Braden. Super cool. It's got them up front too. That's kick, kick, kick a PG-13, kids. It is kick something. Okay, hole, not real sure. Turn that on at nighttime, maybe something funky happens. Docking lights with the headlights up front. Um, we're gonna skip this and come right back to it. So right here we have our Simrad GPS. Once the batteries are on, we just hit the little button, press okay, it's GPS. Right here we got our bilge pump. This is automatic. You'll most likely never use it. All it does is pump water out of the boat. You'll be amazing, amazed as kids get in and out of the boat, just exactly how much water gets in there. But it's automatic, has to have it. Blower right here, that ventilates the engine compartment. So anytime you get gas, after you get gas, you wanna go ahead and ventilate that engine compartment. Wrong button, anchor light right here, stopped at night. So right here, this boat is in fact equipped with power anchor. So right here is where you turn it on, and right here is how you raise and lower it, okay? So how do you know exactly where to go with it? You never wanna go out in 50, 60 feet of water. You wanna get like at a manageable 10, 15, 20 feet of water. Right here, we have a depth finder. Let's go ahead and show you. Go through your systems, you click the button, and it'll tell you exactly how many feet you're in. I can't find it. Trim, oh, down arrow. Okay, so down arrow, that shows your fuel, your speed, your water temp, your depth, 33.6 feet right here. So we'd wanna get in like 10 to 15 feet of water. However deep the water is where we're gonna cove out, from that point, we'd add a quick 10, 10 to 15 Mississippi. So if we're in 10 feet, 25 Mississippi. That's how we know we go down. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, go to 25. Once we're there, back up until there's a little bit of tautness in the line, and that's how you set it, all right? When you're done, bring it all the way back up. So that's how you set your power anchor. This boat also is equipped with trim tabs right here. So what these are for is lateral stability. I'm gonna include a link in the description down below that explains specifically how to work them. But for this part of the video, I'm just gonna show you how they show you that they work, okay? So let's get on cruise speed. You always pick something in front of you. We're gonna get the boat running nice and flat here. I'll show you how to work those. We're gonna pick that house up on the hill there. This is our point directly in front of us. Now watch, I'm not gonna touch the steering wheel. Whoa! but I did hit the throttle. <laughs> Let's put one down. Now see how our boat's starting to ride crooked? Go ahead and show them. Now I'm gonna bring that back out. 
Okay. Turn a little. Let's get out of these big waves here. Yeah, not a good time for this one. All right, we're picking that again. Now let's do the other side, you ready? Pushing her down. Now we're starting to turn and go away from it. See how we're turning that way? And again, put it back here. Put it back here. I never touch the wheel. That's just using your trim tabs. So that's what they're made for to correct lateral stability. You know, and if let's say you got someone real heavy on one side of the boat, and they move over here. You know, quick 10 Mississippi, one, two, three, four, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. That'll take them all the way back out of the water. When it's rough as hell like this and you just can't enjoy yourself, get the boat cruised and just put them down. Watch what happens. Really slows the boat down to a crawl, but it forces that nose down. And now we're just plowing through rough waves. It's extremely comfortable right here. Not good on gas but it will save a day that looks terrible and allow you to go ahead and get through it with ease. Let's bring those both back up. Let's go ahead and look at our gauges real quick here, Braden. Right here, we have our fuel gauge, speedometer, tachometer. Right here, we can scroll through systems, voltage for the battery, trim angle, engine temp, oil pressure, voltage for the battery, RPM, and speed. Right here is our trim gauge. It also always has trim right down here at the bottom, okay? So for our systems and operation, remember you got your kill switch right here, your ignition switches right here, start and stop, tilt and trim, shifting. And now I wanna go ahead and show you that stereo system real quick. You got a remote control. So right inside of here, this stereo system has XM capability. You can plug your phone into it right here, plug your phone into a charger, and there's even a little shelf right here. There's also a light when you open this door. So let's go to mode and see what all features we have. USB, aux, it does have Bluetooth. So it's a very awesome stereo system. I think that pretty much sums up uh, the systems in this specific boat so we're going to go ahead and put it back out on the trailer and take a look at the interior and exterior condition condition um thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel if you haven't we'll see you on the water